Hello everybody, here is DNA in Games and welcome to Void Tyrant. This is the game that I talked about on my first video, mentioning that it is very interesting. So, I've discovered this game on my mobile phone. I downloaded it because it looked nice and I was like, let's play this, but unfortunately, I didn't realize that you need to buy the game to unlock a fourth class. So I played like a couple of times and I really enjoyed it and then I got like better and better and I was able to unlock two of the six gems already but it was frustrating because I didn't have the last class and I was like come on can I get the last class in any way? Because even though I invest in Steam, I don't invest in any other game platforms or games in general. So I was like, what can I do? And then I discovered that this game is on Steam and I was like, yes, I have to buy this game. So you will see this game is like a dungeon crawlers now you make your own deck you try to destroy monsters and get cards improve the deck and then take a couple of bosses and you unlock different classes and races it's not very diverse but it is very fun and hopefully i will be able to get this game through also about the series that I started previously, the game of Deck of Ashes. As I said in the comments in the details about the last video, I mentioned that for me it is repetitive and I don't really like many things about it, so I think that. For now, I will drop that series, don't know if I will return to it someday, but for now, I think that we will focus on this game. So yeah, let's con let's start. Uh, the secret town has been overrun by monsters, get ready for battle. So you have a deck of cards that includes your attack, you usually have options between the left and right. So here, you have the battle with the monster. Oh, it will explain already. So, you need to draw. Okay. The maximum is 12. Right with your opponent's attack. Okay. Avoid B. Because if I overcharge, the, the monster will deal damage. I don't know why, but attack of force is a right? As I hit them, I But you will see people only do are on the base and there are multiple stats spells and Some reward. 
Avengers or with the other one, but I was not able to, so hopefully on the PC version I will be able to do that. So click here to drop the knife. So let's see. The knife will start with these hand cards. Knights deal more damage with melee weapons. Hero starts with different perks giving passive blows. So we have Master of Tools which I usually don't use. And then we have Blood of Nebula Strike which is nice. Then we have Shock Back. Then we have Sucker Punch. Then we have Kick. And then two modifiers. Okay. And this particular knife has bigger, which gives us three extra max HP for every just a moment. Okay. For every time you gain a level, so I can increase my max HP. Then adaptable, which gives me extra experience, which is a very nice combo. So let's start the fire. So, at first, I will not be able to reject a hero that wants to get hired, but in the future, I will be able to reject the hire into one. So, we know that occasion of the Chaos Pyramid, where the Eye of Chronos are. The only way to gain entry is to unlock the gate using three ancient Cyclopean artifacts. These are known as key Chaos Keys. Apart from opening the Chaos Pyramid, those foul things are seething with wild chaos magic. Recover the Chaos Keys from each location and then Chaos Pyramid. So, and usually are able to pick between two planets at the first and second level. So we can either go to Berenia, which is not on Earth. Berenia is usually a peaceful kingdom, but in this particular area there are reports of voice pirates robbing traders and beasts behaving violently. So the last boss of the area will be Jirga. The ruthless leader of the boy pirates, Jirga is known to be wearing a chaos key around her neck and her presence here will explain both the pirate activity and the chaotic behavior of the local fauna. All we have Sania or Sania? Groil surface scouts have reported that there are higher than usual numbers of undead wandering the desert. We managed to find the necromancer behind the parasite. The messenger of Am somehow this undead lord has got their hands on a cap. And is using its power to do the norm. So, I will actually go with this one because this one will use weapons, as this one will use melee. And I want to go with something different than what we have. So, let's try and take your guys out. Deck has been stacked. Then our equipment has got it. So off we go. Bingo Valley, a beautiful part of Barania, all inspiring wilderness, dotted with the famous Barania Dome cities and simple dirt roads. Them. We 
recent robberies along the road suggest that Jeep Gus and her three bots would be set up in the vicinity. Though this night's name is Pointing Diadem, Chaos Key or not, Jerkus must be brought to justice for the crimes she committed against the good Brazilian people. The three bots are a skirt on the galaxy. So, where do we go? Okay. So, you will see this one is a slim slide. This is a rotten slide with greater power. Best to be approached with electric back. So, there will be some elements and each one deals super amazing damage to others. And if we attack with the same element, in this case, we will deal less damage than usual. And spineless is the fact that this knife will not be able to reach the rest of the main hand. So, so the spineless. For example, you can never have two different jackets in your deck. You can always hover over the attributes of the bottom at the card to find out what they did. So this one deals six damage in this instant. So we need that.
now I can either increase my max health or my melee damage. I will increase my melee damage only because I have the passive that will increase my max damage, my max health. So yeah, increase the melee damage, and then when I level up, I can also get another ability. I usually don't use shuffle, so I will take shield bash, and then I can take a new turret, a new passive ability. The potions and health drive are fifty percent more effective, or this comes in the shop, and then I can go with Knight of the Blood of Nebula. Okay. And when we level up, we also recover some of the lost HP. So here is the shop, let's see. There are plenty of things to buy, but we don't actually have that much money. So I could buy some gloves. Mega slime. This area shows everything you need to know. You already are familiar with HP bar and AP bar. You can also see the full stain and any special traits they might have. See the area at any time to get more details about the opponent and the traits.
benefits if we have a shield so, yeah let's take the shield okay <laughs> you love this one it's like a potato but hot or die Thank you. 
<laughs> Jargas, what's the meaning of this? Are you another low-life bounty hunter here to throw away your life? The chaos key you're wearing, it is very dangerous, it is corrupting you and everyone around. Also, I need to save the galaxy. This conversation is boring me. Maybe you'd like to talk to my trusty old Peter for a while. So we will see that this character is not a Balance if she doesn't know the one or two.
that shield so I'm going to get that shield another time located so we found the first tail And now I can upgrade one card, so I can definitely can upgrade the nebula. Just right. We can upgrade these cards three times. Trying in the darkness. So 25% damage, the dark damage reduction, cold damage reduction, resistance to curses, and we don't actually use weapons. Another steam achievement. So next time we will be able to go either to the frozen plane of wind or to the Altrain Spain. And I think that we will go to the Altrain Space, but we'll see. So we'll have to pick between those two next time. But this will be all for today. I have been DNA Games. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment. Also, let me know what you think about this new series. Do you like it? Do you do you prefer if I will for the back of action? Let me know. I'm curious to know what you think about it. So until my next video, check the Discord server that you can find in the description of this video. And until my next video, have a great day. Bye.